Good morning, everyone. Today is Friday, and I pray and I hope that you had a beautiful and a safe night's sleep. I doubly pray that when your eyes open this morning, the first thing that rolled off of your lips was thank you, God, for another opportunity to get it right, just in case I missed something on yesterday. You may be getting up to prepare breakfast for your husband for your children and for yourself. You may be getting up and getting dressed to go to work, drop the children off to school, go to the grocery store. I just spend time with your husband today. Um, whatever your endeavor is today, before you start your morning, I ask you to open your ears and radiate your mind and let it flow on down to your heart and let your heart pump the word of the morning. And the word of the morning is cover, cover, cover. Whose cover are you under that keeps you from getting wet? In the rain, uh, you have a roof over your head. Who, who's your cover this morning? Cover. To put something on top of or in front of, in or to protect or conceal from, whatever. To hide from the sight or knowledge. To hide from that sight. So nobody can see you. Nobody can do you any harm. Are you covered this morning? Are you covered? Do you know if you're covered? Luke 12. Two and three. For there is, for there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed. <laughs> Who are you hiding under? What are you hiding under? What are you hiding behind? Neither hid that shall not be known. What is right or wrong will utterly be revealed one day. <clears throat> it behooves us to be under the right cover. <laughs> that way, when it's revealed, when all of it is revealed, it's all good and glorious because you've been under the right cover. Therefore, whatsoever you have spoke in darkness, shall be heard in light. Mm -mm. <laughs> you think we're going to get away? No, no, no. Wrong doctrine, which is darkness, <laughs> will utterly be revealed. So if you're following, are you under cover of the wrong doctrine? It's going to be revealed one day. And every one of us is going to know who was right and who was wrong. Because <laughs> there's only two ways. You're either right or you're wrong. There's no in-between of nothing. Man says it's the in-between, but God says it's either wrong or right. It's yes or no. What cover are you under? <laughs> and it goes on to what is actually is by the light of the word of God. If God Almighty is not your covering, his word is not your cover. You better think. You better think. You better hurry back to that cover. And that which you have spoke in the ear, in the closet, shall be proclaimed upon the housetop. That's a sad thing because there's some things that we speak about each other in darkness and we don't think it's going to be heard. But guess what? 
if something is coming from the rooftop, everybody going to know. Everybody going to know. It behooves us to think about the next time we want to speak something in each other's ears that's not right. We better be careful. The Pharisees, you know who they were, plotted to secretly, <laughs> they, plotted, they plotted in secret to kill Christ Jesus. And guess what? They didn't think nobody was going to know who was behind it, but guess what? Their secrets are now known all over the world. Do you want your ugliness or what you've said and plotted to do to be known all over the world? Unless you under the covering of Jesus Christ. And so shall all ungodliness be utterly found out. See, you know, my mother used to say her life was an open book. Anybody could read any page they want to read because she had nothing to hide because she knew everything about her one day was going to be open, wide open. Think about that the next time you want to do something behind closed doors. What are we doing in the darkness Ask yourself, what are you doing in the darkness? So let us remember the last portion of the verse. And that which we have spoke in the ears, in the closets, shall be proclaimed up on the housetop. That means the world going to know you. <laughs> and if the Lord Jesus says the same, and I do believe he will. I will see you on Monday. Be safe. Be blessed. Have a beautiful weekend. And know that you are under the right cover. Bye-bye.